Listen to the 48 Hours podcast for shocking murder cases and compelling real life dramas from one of television's most watched true crime shows. Go behind the scenes of each episode with award winning CBS News correspondents and producers in Post Mortem, a weekly deep dive. Listen to 48 Hours wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I wanted to overall, uh, there, there's a reason why I'm doing this episode uh, titled Make Your Own Money, because there are people in this world that feel like because you have some sort of connection that they're entitled to the money that you make. And my thing is this, if you're not blood, you're like even my thing is this because no there's even at times where it's like if you're making like bank and stuff there's like that random you know blood related family come up out the woodworks and be all like oh now that you make it some i'm saying you they've displayed it and i haven't had that happen to me where it's like why well, i'm not making i'm not making like millions of dollars but i do feel like that there's gonna be people where i'm like fam i didn't even know that we were fam like, I, I didn't know we were on that level. Like, I, I only know my immediate family, some cousins, some uncles. That's about some aunts. That's about it, you know? But anyways, um, but no, like, overall, like, if you're not immediate blood, like, if you're not a blood, not or even a friend, like, somebody that I'm not seeing on a regular basis, it's like, and even then, you're still not entitled to nothing that I'm making, but... I feel like that you are more entitled than somebody that I don't know. So that's why I'm doing this podcast episode because, and the thing is, I know people probably ask that question, well, what if there's somebody that you are close with and they're trying to bring somebody else in the picture? Pretty much like, and it's getting into today's, uh, you know, episode and the example that I will be using because it's a real it's a real legitimate thing that happened. There was a video that went viral of this. Uh, so, a couple were was going out, but she invited like all of her best friends from like all aspects of school. She invited her best friends from uh, preschool, elementary, middle school, uh, high school, community college, regular college anything after work best friends like this woman invited every best friend that she can think of and it was like it it looked like it was a lot of people there right so anyways it's her her boyfriend and all of her best friends from every aspect of her life all at this restaurant and she was expecting her boyfriend to pay for all of her friends it looked like it was well over like 10 people like it probably was close to i think I think when the guy said it, it was like 18, but I don't know. But either way, it's like, fam, you're expecting me to pay for 18 people? Why? What what have they? Because I know people are going to be thinking like, oh, well, you're being cheap. You're being this. You're being that. I'm like, I don't know those people like that. And my thing is this. You get all dressed up. You wear your best dress. You put on your best makeup. You put on your best shoes. And you mean to tell me you don't have no money to buy yourself a meal? But you have money to go buy yourself uh, whatever fancy dress. I know people are going to probably be like, well, if she got her dress from Fashion Nova, where she should have saved that Fashion Nova money and got her some Fashion Nova food. Because if you know you're going to be going to, my thing is this. I And I've seen that before, like, I, you know, where it's like people want to use all their money to make themselves look good. But I'm like, fam, if I'm trying to eat, I'm trying to eat. I'm like, I look good on a different day. But as of that moment, right then and there, I'm trying to eat. So it tripped me out because they're are people that think along those lines they think because oh well since you know you're cool with me or whatever then my friends that you don't know about then it because i i see this is how i see it right this is how i see it now let's say if i am making enough money to where i could afford you know uh you know like a meal or like a meal for each person so 18 people i can afford a meal for each of those people right it's gonna come to a point in time where it's like, oh, my best friend, she's in jail right now, and her bail is like uh, $1,500. Can you bail her out real quick? So now I got to slip on some sweats, because I ain't going to dress up and go to jail. So now I got to slip on some sweats, go all the way down to this um, jail place, 
bail her out. I know most likely I'm not going to get all the money back. If not, I'm probably not going to get uh, none of it back. But if it's a friend that I know that they're going to pay me back, like they, they paid me back that same day, or they said, uh, overall, they're going to pay me back, I probably wouldn't trip about it. But that's only that one friend. Most likely, there's going to be one of those friends where they're like, oh, sorry, you know, I... I um, I, I got this, I got a handle, I got, so let's say it's a different, um, situation, right, let's say a person, they got their car towed, you know, get their, uh, car out of the towing place, they got paid, like, $300, you know, because it's, it, it's a, it's a new car, it, it, for some reason, for some reason, you know, it, it costs a little bit extra, so let's say that your, your typical car only costs 200 but because she got some old fancy, um, car, it, it's gonna cost an extra 100 for whatever reason, right? So I do that. I got to slip on some sweats, go all the way down to this place, give them 300 They get their car out. And they're all like, oh, yeah, yeah. When I get paid, um, I, I, I got you. Payday comes. I see them posting online. Because I'm like, at this point, I'm like, nah. I'm following you on social media. I'm paying attention to your moves. I'm paying attention to the things that you buy. And let's just say she a sneakerhead, right? So anyways, payday comes. I'm waiting. I'm like, I'm literally counting down the seconds, the minutes, the hours of that day. But I was just so happy, you know what? I'm going to take a little break from this counting. I'm going to go on Instagram real quick. I go on Instagram, see she unposted something in her story. She hasn't posted nothing on this week, and I'm like, hmm, let's see what she posted. Let, let's let's see what, what's, what she's going to be posting about. I'm curious. Maybe she's posting about my money. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what she'll be posting about. I'll open it up. She's at, she ain't even at one of the, like, the retailing uh, sneaker stores. She's at one of the reselling sneaker stores, which means that you're going to most likely be going in there spending, like, four or $500 on some shoes. And she's seen a pair of bread 11s. That's just really, I, I'm trying to think of something that's just really going to be a slap in the face to me, but she goes in there. She spends, because what, a pair of Bright 11s, they reselling for like maybe 400 And usually at them stores, they cost a little bit extra. So 500 500 And she owes me 300 So I'm like, you have my money, but you use my money on top of another 200 to use it. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm like, okay, maybe she will pay me at some point in time. So of course, me being petty, I'm going to make a post. I'm going to probably say some stuff all like, you know, it's always good to pay your friends back. I'm all like, pay them back whatever you owe them. Don't go through your whole life not paying them back. I don't get no response. It's the very next day. And I'm like, all right, maybe she forgot. I'm like, you know, sometimes people be forgetting things. I'm like, I, I get it. I forget things at times. It makes sense. I understand. You know, I 100% I understand. But I feel like, me personally, you don't forget that you owe somebody money. That's just something that you you just, you do not forget. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm like, I've owed people money before. I pay them. I've always paid them. I had to say there's not one person in this world where I've they've given me money that I'm supposed to pay them back. I have paid them back. You know, it's like either you make it clear that and I'm like, maybe and maybe that's then maybe that might be the reason why she ain't paying me back because she thought it was a gift or something. I'm like stuff like that. No, you don't give a person a, a gift. A gift is when it's like you give them like the money and, you know, for whatever reason, I'm not giving you the money for no tow tree for your car getting towed. That's not a gift. That's money that you it, it's like an unwritten rule that you just know you got to pay that person back. All right. But anyways, next day comes this point i'm like i ain't gonna make no like you know uh sub post tweets whatever you know i'm gonna just flat out ask her hey you owe me 300 where's that at because i i got some things i need to do with that money oh man i forgot like you know and let's just say she got like a good paying job too like she got like she let's say like her paychecks like she get paid like every two weeks like two three thousand dollars close to like three thousand dollars right she got like one of them like good paying doctor jobs or whatever i don't know but anyways i'm thinking in my head i'm like Okay, what are you doing with your money? And that would be my question to each and every one of them 18 people that showed up to that restaurant. But what are you doing with your money to where you can't even pay me back? I'm I'm curious. Like I'm 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 very curious. You got a good paying job. You got all these other good fancy things. You mean to tell me you can't pay me back money that you owe me? How am I supposed to look at that and be like that's normal? 
So now I'm gonna, like, then at that point, I'm getting mad at, uh, you know, the girlfriend, the friend. I'm getting mad at people I don't even know. And I'm like, bro, you know, it's like, it's stuff like that where it's like, fam, that's why, that's why just my advice to people don't don't give people money do do not give them money unless you really trust that person and you know that you're gonna get your money back don't give anybody any of your money i'm sorry but it's like it's it's one of those things where it's like i just don't me particularly i don't trust nobody when it comes to money i i don't i'm all like because i that's one thing that i've always thought of i'm like you know it's gonna probably get to a point in time where i really start making a lot of money and stuff and i'm like if i gotta sit down and figure out all that stuff on my own i'm like i will do that you know but like you know like handling it like managing it and all that stuff because i know yeah people they usually hire like managers and you know people to just kind of look after their finances and i'm like look if i gotta like go through you know and do all that stuff myself i'm like i will do what i need to do but i'm like it's it's just stuff like that where it's just you know i don't trust i just don't trust people like i i'm not sorry about it either it's just i don't i don't trust people and stuff but no it's like that story it just really tripped me out because i'm like you're really expecting and she was getting mad about it she was all like i think she said something like oh my god you're embarrassing me you're doing this you're doing i'm like my thing is this you know, if I get invited out to, you know, some get together, if now it's one thing, if you get invited out and it's like you, one other person, like, let's say if it's, even if it's like, you know, a, a double date situation, I'm paying for my date, they paying for their date. That's, that's it, you know, but like, if it's, you know, I guess, like, if it's only a few friends or something like that, like there, I remember there was a time where, cause I'm trying to think, did I? Did I pay? I don't think I paid for it. No, we sh no, we shared. We shared the food and stuff. But no, so the friend that invited us, um, like, so there was a, a good friend of mine. I'm pretty, yeah, I, I was, you know, yeah, I was just talking on him not too long ago, the half white, half Guamanian friend. So I remember the uh, the one time, no, wait a minute, there was, there's been a few times where he's, like, invited me out. But he, he usually, he pays. He pays, you can know, because we're sharing it and stuff. But if there's ever a time where I'm all like, hey, you know what, I'm going to get my own food. I'm paying for it. That that's just it, it's it's a thing. That is it is a human. It is an unwritten human law to where if you are going to get some extra food or get whatever, you pay for it. If you get invited out and you see it's a group of people, unless you are getting invited out by like uh Bill Gates, uh Little Dirk, uh who who else? Justin Bieber. Uh, on freaking Samuel L. Jackson. Nah, maybe not Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson don't seem like the type where it's like... I, I just feel like, you know, even though that man makes his money and stuff, I still feel like he's he's staying true to who he was before he was making money. I, I, I feel like, nah, maybe not Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, let me think of somebody else. I'm thinking maybe Denzel Washington, but I'm like, no, not him either. Morgan Freeman, I feel like he'll surprise you. You think that he's gonna pay for your food, but then he'd be the type of person who's like, I'm not paying for your food. I'm like, I'll he was like, I might be doing the vo uh like the commentary and the voiceovers for the Animal Planet shows, but that don't mean I'm paying for the food. So I'm like, I you know, I, I think I would I would expect it, but I still will bring my um, you know, my wallet and all that stuff just in case. Dang, I'm trying to think who who could it possibly be? I can't think of anybody by um right now, but I'm like, if it's somebody of fame and you know that they're good for paying for other people's food now it's like you know i'm sitting there i'm getting my stuff ready and stuff i'm all like all right let me go ahead and get my wallet i'm like no nah, i'll take a separate check and they look and they're like no 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 i got it, i got it. that's the one and only time the one and only time where you pay for your food but then you, but you insist or no or they you allow them to pay for your food but you insist that you pay for your own food right that's it the one and only time but other than that if it's like 18 people, because I know people probably ask me, in that situation, T Moss Boss, what would you do? The same guy, the same thing that the guy did, arguing with my significant other. And I'm telling her, and I'm like, this ain't gonna work. You got all these people here thinking I'm gonna spend you think because oh he he he's the he's the YouTuber, he's the content creator, he he's making money left and right. He he he's another David Dobrik. It, it, man, he's yeah, he's promoting SeatGeek and he yeah, Twitch streaming, he just got a five thousand dollar donation from Mr. Beast. He just I'm saying I'm like, what do you 
I'm not allowed to save money and stuff. I, by the way, I've never gotten no five thousand dollar donation from Mr. Beast. But I'm just saying, like, in that, I, I feel like that they would see, you know, like, oh, he somebody gifted him five subs, and I'm like, or they, they, whatever for whatever reason, I'm like, look, I'm like that money is my money. That ain't your guys' money. I'm not related to y'all. I don't know you guys like that. So why, why should I be forced to pay for people, and I don't really know them like that. I'm saying, I'm like, I, my thing, and I know people will probably be all like, oh, but you've donated to organizations. Yeah, I've donated to people that actually, they really need, my thing is this. Now, nah, if you got dressed up to go to a restaurant, you got money, okay? You got money. I refuse to believe that you get all dressed up to go to a restaurant and you don't have no money. There are really people out there that feel like that they are entitled. And to whoever that guy is, I'm all like, look, that ain't going to probably be the last time that girl does that. It's either you sit down, you talk with her, and let her know, hey, if your friends are going to be coming to get together, and it's going to be like a lot, it's going to be like more than just, you know, a hand like if my thing is this i'm like the i feel like how where should the bar should be set like i said if it's like maybe a few friends i feel like that that's normal like if it's a group of people i'm not saying it's like and you know a organization of people or like a few gangs of people no if it's a group i'm saying like a group project that we did back in like middle school and high school that group of people that that amount of people where it's like you know it four but it's a fifth person because they're you know they they it was an extra person like left and things and then it was like you know it's like okay so they chill. that's that's chill that's chill but once when it starts exceeding into the teens into the 20s into the 30s i'm like no y'all better bring your own money okay because i'm saying once when it comes down to paying for the food and you're all like oh well, i thought you was paying i'm like look at how many people showed up to this get together i'm paying for a few people so i'm all like y'all better negotiate who these few people are gonna be because i'm not paying for everybody so I'm like, y'all, I will make that extremely clear. I'm like, if a lot of people are going to be there, bring your money. I ain't trying to hear no stuff where it's all like, oh, man, I don't get paid till next week. Can you spot? No. I'm like, you better go in the back and wash you some dishes and stuff. Or, you know, yeah, put you on the apron. I'm pretty sure that uh, this uh, uh, restaurant can use your work or, yeah, your help and stuff. So, but anyways, yeah, overall, I'm like, I'm not with that. I'm not with paying for other people. And I'm like, I didn't agree to paying for these other people. And, and if she hits me with some stuff like, oh, my God, you're embarrassing me. I'm like, well, it looked like you're going to be getting embarrassed a whole lot of times. We're going to be in a relationship. You're going to be doing stuff like this to me and stuff. So, but anyways, and that being said, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. You know, reach out to me um, either on social media I stream, um, or when this does get posted onto YouTube, you can leave a comment in the comment section and stuff, but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later, thank you guys for watching and or listening, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe, and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up, make sure you subscribe to all my 43 YouTube channels, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at Boss. and make sure you follow my Facebook page at Boss fan page, also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code Boss. it went out $20 off here first purchase thank you guys for watching and listening and peace